10 out of 10 voice acting. I, I'm the best voice actor in the world, I'll have you know. The greatest voice actor. I 100% can voice act. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, who will be this year's Grand Prix Champion? Who will be our Hero of Heroes? It can't be Mo. It just physically can't be Mo. It will be last year's runner-up, Jammin' Ninja, or maybe Captain Side Sidepan, all the way from the lovely wherever. So the students of a certain starry boy here, Global Hero on the there, doesn't want to go home without the prize. We hope Lady Luck is with all these, all our heroes tonight. And now, the winner of the third annual Hero of Heroes Grand Prix. Whoa! The true hero of the night has appeared in our midst. It looks like this year's Grand Prix goes to the Fantastic Warriors. The Nickel Salmon. Too bad Jammin' Ninja lo looks like a title leader to begin this year. March 20th, 7.42pm, Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. Alright, yes, did you hear that, Nick? Did you? The Nickel Samurai, he did it! Yeah, he sure did. Ugh, I'm getting too old for this. Ah, I'm proud of the guy for doing the series justice. Uh, um, so the person everyone was cheering for, I guess he got the prize. Yep. You know who we're talking about, right, Proudy? The Nickel Samurai. No, every Sunday I only watch the educational channel's Kids Masterpiece Theatre. Okay, that's it. From now on, it's the Nickel Samurai. All the kids watch it. Do you like the Nickel Samurai too, Mr. Nick? Nah, Nick's an old fart, so he's not allowed to watch it anymore. That's right, but I do like Kids Masterpiece Theatre. Hey, I didn't know you were so young at heart, Nick. Mr. Nick, you're a grown-up. You're not allowed to watch it anymore. You're supposed to act your age and have interest in the match. It's very important. Aw, oh, give it a rest, Carly. Looks like I made the right choice in inviting everyone here. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go get my drink, because I need to do the hydrate and the stretch flow. I'm gonna get my drink, so I'm gonna go on a- well, I'm not gonna go on a BRB screen, I'm just gonna stick this up. Boom. And leave you with this music, and I will be back.
I am back. I'm back. I'll do my hydrate. I'll do my stretches. Let's have a look what everyone's saying. Yeah, it, it was it was quite sad. Um, sadly, dog was trans and make it Christmas, but dog has been a real trooper through it. So I've got four days off from my job, going to enjoy New Year's Eve, New Year's drinks. Nice. I'm I'm streaming on New Year's. <laughs> But we're streaming till midnight, and then I was told as soon as I finish my stream I have to go to bed. Fictional told me the other day, as soon as I finish stream on New Year's Eve, I've got to go to bed. I was like, alright, no, but alright. Right, let me do my stretches. I've taken off from work. I, I thought they meant the drinks as well. Go, Bev. She's right, it's the rules. It's only because she doesn't want me hanging around with people when she's going out to a party. And I'm like, I can still hang around with people after my stream if I wanted to. It's only going to be like 1 a.m. Uh, New Year's Eve I'll be streaming, so up until midnight we'll be doing something, we're not too sure yet. It was meant to be Terraria Hardcore, but I don't know how many people are going to be around um, to do the Hardcore run. But I know I've definitely got Fictional, so me and Fictional will definitely be here doing something. Alright, there's a stretch. Are you happy though? I have stretched. Alright. I've also got food. Maybe 300 people. I very much doubt it would be 300 people. I will never be happy. What if I sent you a mech? Would you be happy then? What is happy shin? Oh, no, that will be bad that you wasted your money. But after you calm down, you start building the mech, you'd be happy, right? I remember when I bought you the big chunky boy. You said thank you to me about a million fucking times. No? Wow. Maybe 300 people show up to you on New Year's Eve? It's never happened before. I'm very happy with what I did, to be fair. Never say never. True, true.
Scott, I'm just eating toast now. I got toast, look. I'll show you toast. I got toast. So let's eat the toast. So this is the more serious side of Shin now. Lau's just never gonna be happy ever again. No. Uh, it's not, it's um, pate on it. It's just pate. Hey, Tony, how's it going? Again, if you want to stream with me, we'll probably. Well, the plan is. The plan is. Um. Terraria. If we can get enough people in Terraria. Looks like I made the right choice in inviting everyone here. I'm glad you're all having a good time. Ah! It's like a dream. Too bad for the Jam and Ninja, though. Last year he lost to the Pink Princess, warrior of little old in Tokyo. Though this might be his year. Yeah. Oh hey, did anyone else think that the Jam and Ninja look a bit different today? Different? What do you mean? Um, well, he wasn't carrying his bright red guitar. Hey, you're right. Strangely walked around without his signature guitar. Huh. I will never understand these people on their shows. Anyway, Mr. Powers, thank you very much for tonight. Aw, oh, it was nothing. I owe you one, so it's just my way of saying thanks. Hey, Nick, come on. It's time to get going to the lobby. There's a post-ceremony stage show that's supposed to start real soon. And then I heard there's going to be a press conference after that. A press conference? Is he going to make a speech about winning this year's prize? Uh, well, not exactly. Something about the Nickel Samurai confessing something. Confessing? Sounds pretty serious. Ah, uh, Nick, come on. You don't want us to be the last ones there, do you? Yeah, Mr. Nick, do you? Why me? The show doesn't even start for another 20 minutes. I'm looking. It sure is one luxurious hotel, almost to the point of gaudy, with how it blends together everything fancy imaginable. Speaking of fancy, didn't that bellboy give me something like this that last year? Like what? What am I even looking at? The award ceremony was just held on that stage. It was really fabulous. It just reminded me of the circus for a second. Well, shows like that are guaranteed to be good, you know? What can I say? This is a really high-class hotel. I've never eaten this kind of salad before. Poor Pearl, having eaten only vegetables all her life, she's been missing out. Don't worry, any leftovers belong in my happy awaiting stomach anyway. You're such a glutton, Maya. Ah, I lose this one to Maya. You sure can eat. Well, a grown girl needs some nutrients. A grown girl? Exactly how big do you plan on getting? Wow, I think he's calling her fat, guys? If this is all a dream, I don't ever want to wake up, and all the directors and stars that were here to see the heroes, wow. I had no idea who most of them were. Even die. Nick, you've got to cut that new zombie habit out. The new show is going to be the Nickel Samurai every Sunday morning at 8. Oh, I know, we can watch it together starting next week. I can't wake you up extra early to make sure, okay? <laughs> ah, I'm fine, you know, you really don't have to get half to on my account. What else can I look at? That chandelier is really something, isn't it? I thought it was kind of a spaceship. Hey, Nick, how about we get one of these from the office? One of those hanging from a poor weak ceiling? I don't think so. The 
There's a grand set of doors over there. And behind those doors is an equally grand lobby. Can we go and take a look, Mr. Me? Hey, wait up. This grand dessert is calling to me. It's saying, eat me now. Ah, I really owe you one. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't know what would have happened. What you did, it was a real tight spot I was in, and you fought so hard to get me out. I don't care what happens, I'll never forget everything you've done for me. Thank you very much for inviting us today. Oh, it was nothing, really. Guys like us don't get to come to a place like this often, so I thought I'd invite you all. And Mr. Powers, what have you been up to lately? Well, since the Pink Princess successfully wrapped up last month, I've been on a kid's exercise show, or wearing a rabbit mask over my face. Oh, I see. I'm still really sorry about all the headache I caused you that time, Mr. Wright. Ah, well, what's done is done, so let's forget about it. This is Bob Powers. He's an action star. His popularity exploded when he was the Steel Samurai, and it was the first case Maya worked on with me. It's too bad you look scary, but people would know you're a real softie who's good with kids. Um, thanks. Can't believe they're going to make a movie based on the Nickel Samurai. I can't believe it either, but for a different reason. Still Samurai, an epic story of one hero in a desperate fight against his arch-nemesis, the evil magistrate, in the city of Neo-Old Tokyo. And last year they started a new series, The Nickel Samurai. The new series seemed to be a hit for the kids too. I'm really attached to The Steel Samurai as a show, so I was hoping that maybe I'd get the chance to do something in this new one. Yeah, it's too bad. It'd be, awesome. It'd be awesome to see you with the new actor, Matt Engard. He's super popular right now. Mr. Ungard? Looks like Carl doesn't know who he is. This year is gonna be the Nickel Samurai vs. Jammin' Ninja at the box office. Jammin' Ninja? Who's that again? So who is this Jammin' Ninja again? He's a hero, duh. His symbol is the bright red guitar he's always carrying. A ninja who's always carrying around a bright red guitar. How does that even work? With a scarf around his neck and a guitar in his hand, he raises the stardom in an ancient time. A ninja who becomes a star. Yeah, a ninja who becomes a star. There's a strong rivalry between the two of them. Global Studios, Nickel Samurai, and Worldwide Studios, Jam and Ninja. They even air at the same time. You know what I heard? I heard those two don't get along at all. The Nickel Samurai's in guard, and the guy who plays Jam and Ninja, I mean. Nickel Samurai speaks French. Oh, you mean Matt and Guard, the actor. I guess even the world of heroes isn't a sparkling happy place. Y yeah. Okay. Off to the hallway we go. Gatewater Hotel hallway. Oh, is this is it, this is just the same hotel, isn't it? Well, what is with this place? Looks like I've stumbled into the Oz or something. Way right in the back, there's a sign for the bathroom. Maybe I should visit it while I can before the show starts. Oh god, there's so much to do. To Miss Dungard from the Global Studios staff. Ah, it'd be nice if lawyers got flowers too, or so something like to Mr. Wright from all your grateful clients. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says Martin Guard's room. Martin Guard, I've heard that name before. Oh, yeah, Maya's always yamming about him like the, like the obsessed fan she is. Well, this guy looks much more popular, though. Look at how much shit he's got. I can understand flowers in front of the dressing rooms, but what stuff bears doing here? Could it be that there's an action star with a soft spot for teddy bears? Nah, it can't be. Compared to the flowers on the other side of the hall, these are much more gorgeous. Let's see, record companies, fan clubs, company workers, family. Carrying all these flowers home would be hard, I think. I don't think he carries them home, buddy. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says, One Corridor's Room. His name just sounds like a star's name. I've heard it before, but I don't know anything about him at all. There are toilets to each, in each room in this hotel, but since all sorts of events are held here, there are bathrooms for people who aren't staying here to use as well. Perfect for people like me who can't afford to stay here in the first place. Poor Nick. Poor Nick. Sounds like the post-ceremony show is about to start. Alright, I'm so pumped. I wonder if he's going to show off his special move today, Nickel Samurai Smelting. Actually, what I'm interested in most, in this most is the press conference. You mean the big confession that Nickel Samurai is going to make after the show? Still remember all the detail and what needs to do, but of course, in different language. That's fair, that's fair. So what is it? Don't you know what it's about, Mr. Powers? Uh, well, I'm not the Steel Samurai anymore, so I don't have any idea. 
Pa. So sorry. Ah, so I guess we're all going to the press conference then. Yeah, of course. If that's the case, then here, take these tickets so you can get in. Thank you very much. Well, let's get going to the lobby. It looks like it's over this way, Mr. Nick. Okay, great justice. Great justice. Hmm, only a really gaudy hotel would have such a large gaudy lobby to match. Ah, I think they're going to have the post ceremony show over there. They're using a compact stage, you see. Oh, I'm all ready to use my special samurai power. Maya looks like she's ready to start a fight. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. The Nickel Samurai post ceremony stage show will not be held tonight due to unforeseen circumstances. What? Why? Ow, you didn't have to pinch me. Pinch yourself if you don't believe it. We are asking for everyone's cooperation at this time, so please stay where you are. This is a special request from the police. The police? Did they just say the police? But do you want me to go check on what's going on? Um, wait, I'll come with you. Please. You two, didn't you hear the announcement just now? I just finished telling you not to move. That, that voice, I've heard that voice from her before. Honestly, youth these days can't be bothered to listen to other people when they talk. Just the other day, it was the same thing. Oh my god. Well, it's one of these people again. Really let him have it and then do the... I can, I can read it! But I can't read it out loud fast enough. This non-stop chatter. Uh, it can't be Miss Old Bag. Oh, Miss Old Bag. What is it, you young with the snappers? Do I know you? Oh my god, it was just her! It, it was just her all along, guys! Whippersnapper. It was just the old woman all over again. She's back in pog form. Wait, you! Your powers, aren't you? Y yeah, um, about what happened back then. You didn't even get nominated this year, did you? Oh, that's right. You're doing the children's exercise program, trying to play nice. Uh, yeah, that's me. Thank you, I still have a job. I love that show. And you're a who? You're the big brother character, right? Yes, even with your face covered by a mask. What a work of art. That's how you do the do 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 Oh my god, this woman. Hey, nine, how's it going? Um, what are you doing here? Look at my uniform and tell me you can't put, you can't tell I'm a member of security. But that outfit, annoying, noisy brats, get the blaster. Rasta ta 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 ta. She's actually attacking me with a toy. Guys. She's crazy. We need to put her in a home. Please, please. It's the stage for the post ceremony stage show. There was supposed to be a press meeting after the show, but now it looks like no one will hear what the Nickel Samurai had to confess after all. She was an alien come from space. I mean, I've played weirder games recently. We're here, so we might as well take some pictures, okay? Everyone sit in a chair. We're, we're all out of film. Don't worry about it. There's a zillion cameras over there we can borrow. Hey, hey, you can't just go and borrow an expensive professional camera like that. Oh, it's Lotta gonna be here. We're gonna say these cameras are set up to cover the post ceremony stage show. But I wonder where everyone's gone, abandoning the cameras like this. I guess something big must have happened. Wow, it looks like there's a fancy restaurant on the second floor. You still feel like eating. I mean, since you're, we're here, you know? Don't pull this since we're here trick on me. What a beautiful mansion. Do you live in this wonderful world every day, Mr. Nick? Oh no, this is my first time in a place like this. These eyes of mine are real pros now. Pros? Pros are doing what? I'm doing police work, of course. My eyes are like a hawk. I'm a professional eye spot. A messy incident. A messy bloody incident. That's why I don't have time for your meddling kids and your petty little things. Alright. Miss Oldbag, what are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? Or that old place? Well, since that incident, they've been letting people go. When you cut the security team, I've got the pink slip. What incident? What did you do? I didn't do anything, you young man. Don't you remember that incident a year ago, when this lady got on the witness stand and testified? Yeah. And you, weren't you the one who was bullying me, this fragile girl at heart? Um, 
I plead the fifth. But you know, I think maybe I rubbed the upper management the wrong way by testifying. Yes, that has to be it. Everything is all your fault. For me? I thought about being a bodyguard at first after being handed old Pinky. Are you a bodyguard? For your friend, that fiery good looking guy with the red jacket and the ruffles. But Mr. Edgeworth. But that sort of arrangement would be entirely too troublesome for me. That's what he said to me. What did I ever do to deserve that? This one. Um, so did something happen? I don't have all the details, but it looks like another one of those incidents happened again. Uh, an incident? Like a murder kind of incident? Maybe. You see, I'm a bit of a devilish woman. So wherever I go, showers of blood are sure to follow. Bet you didn't know that. Um, then shouldn't you quit being a security guard, at least for other people's sake? Silence, what this matter. I want to know what she thinks she's doing shooting me with a toy gun. Hey, Nick. What, what is it? I don't like that devilish smile pl playing on your lips. Let's make like we're going to the bathroom and check things out. She vaporized me. N no way, the police told us not to go anywhere, remember? Huh? How B-O-R-I-N-G? You're such a boring guy, you've got no motivation, no spirit. Huh? What? What's going on? Are you giving Mystic Maya trouble again, Mr. Nick? Not you two, Pearls. Please don't stick your little nose into this one. So listen to this, Pearly. There's one time at lawyer camp. Nick? Uh, okay, I get it. Let's go take a look. Yay! I know you couldn't say no to me, Nick. That's right. You'd walk over miles of top coast for Mystic Maya, wouldn't you, Mr. Nick? That would, be, that would be every time we work a case together. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go already. You can come along too, Pearly. Goody, I get to come. I get to come. Alright, we're going. Where are we going? There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. Are you looking for the incident that the old lady was talking about? Doesn't look like it happened here. We would better go look elsewhere, somewhere else. All right, let's try. Excuse me. Ah. What? What the hell is with this guy's face? And why is he a bellboy? He. Is his is his monocle attached by his ear? Look like he'd work in a hotel like this. This looks like a criminal. Are you by chance, Miss Maya Faye? Um, yeah, that's me. You have a phone call waiting for you at the front desk. A call? I wonder if it's someone from Curran Village. What's wrong, Mr. Maya? Oh, nothing. You guys go on ahead and it'll be okay. I completely blanked on what she was saying <laughs> and just skipped past it instead of actually reading it. Okay. Right this way, Miss Faye. Let's go look somewhere else now, Mr. Nick. Yeah, okay. This is a little exciting and a little scary. It's not that scary. Let me knock down his door. I told you, I give people the info they want, which means that I've got a right to know. Nope, don't care who you are, pal. We're still investigating, so you can't go in. What's your problem? Just your wait. I'll be all over the morning paper. Scruffy detective's secret scandal revealed. You'll see, I'll get you back. Those two sound pretty serious. That southern accent can only mean... Hey, right. I knew she was gonna be there. I saw the fucking cameras and I knew she was gonna be there. Regardless that she was there to take pictures, I knew she would. Has this all done his face before? Uh, 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 no? I feel like I'm missing out on, you know, an event that everyone else has had. Come on, do a gal favor and tell this cop I'm just doing my job and I've got rights. Ah, you! Ah, Detective Gumshoe. Hey pal, help a guy out. Tell her, the only, tell her that only the police are allowed here. This is the scene of a murder. She, she, yeah. So she should leave this to the us pros. Uh, a murder? Ah, shoot. Me and my big mouth. See, I knew it. My gut instinct told me so. I always trust my gut. A murder, it said. And that's what it is. A genuine murder. Hey, hey, wait. Yeehaw, a murder of a big star, no less. Oh man, I'm in trouble now. Do you want to look at my badge? Take a look at this for me. Listen, pal, I'm not leaking any info about the evidence to you this time. If I do, my salary is really going to get, get it, and then I won't be, won't even be able to get those instant noodles down at the discount market. Oh my god, he's, he's moving into fucking... There must be a lot of trouble incoming. Into poverty, this boy. 
the detective dumps you a murder. Ah, no, that's not it. I got my facts mixed up for a second there, pal. Um, Mr. Nick, is a dead person a nipple samurai? Huh? Why would you- why do you ask? Well, Mr. Kamaya was rooting for him, so... It wasn't the nickel samurai that got bumped. Actually, the nickel samurai is one of, is the one under suspicion of doing the bumping off. What? The guy that died was this hero named the Jammin' Ninja Pal. The Jammin' Ninja. Um, that woman with the big puffy hair that looks like cotton candy. You mean Lotta? That woman, she was there that time too, right? That time, when Mystic Maya did the channeling. Oh, that time. Well, that was a journalist, so that's why she was there. Journalist? It looks like she was hanging around here before the murder happened. Hanging around? Yeah, hiding away in front of the Jammin' Ninja's door, pal. But, but why would she? She wouldn't tell me, pal. Just said something about cleaning my big scoop. Scoop? What sort of news could she be after? So the victim was a Jammin' Ninja. Was a Jammin' Ninja? He was on a really popular rival TV show to the Nickel Samurai. Oh. The victim was the action star, Wong Kari- Karida? Karad? No, it's Karida. This season of Ice Attorney is one of the best stories set up play. Nice! Got a huge push and rode the express train to stardom. I mean, even I know who he is. Even I recognize his face. But I heard lately that Matt and God Guard's been taking the wind out of his sails. I'm telling you, pal, as far as he's popular, those two are hugging all the limelight. I guess there's no space for Mr. Powers at all, huh? Poor guy. I don't think there's really a popularity struggle there. Look at the fucking flowers. You can tell who's popular and who isn't. Mr. On Guard, um, that's the Nickel Samurai, right? Yep. I mean, no. You've got to say it with more oomph. The Nickel Samurai. Anyway, so now that one Karad is gone, that means Mr. On Guard is the whole stage to himself, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't bet on it, pal. We couldn't... We can't have that happen, you know? We can't have that happen? What's that supposed to mean, I wonder? Right, I've got to go and talk to Lotta, I'm guessing. No? Is number three on my people I've seen a lot of lately list. Oh, and who's number one? As if you need to ask. It's you, pal. Uh-uh. So who's number two? Maya Faye, but it looks like she's not around this time. It must be nice to, to be such good friends with each other, isn't it, Mr. Nick? Somehow, I don't think that's the real meaning of the Detective Gumshoe's list. Wait, so where's, where is Lotta gone? I'm guessing she might have just gone. But why don't I get to talk to Lotta? I want to talk to Lotta. Sarge. I wanted to talk to her, guys. Uh... No real fan of action shows or anything, but I know who he is or who they are. You can't talk about one without talking about the other, I guess. They even debuted around the same time, so you have this real fiery rival in each other. Kind of like you and me, pal. I never knew what he thought of me as a rival. Maybe him? Do you know this person? We meet a lot of people as a detective pal, so we make extra sure to not forget people because that's our job. Now, having said that, I don't remember ever seeing this person before. Uh, my boy! My boy! Which means that you're kind of forgetful, I need to be this detective. That's not what it means, not exactly anyway. The Nickel Samurai, he really took a grand prix tonight. Maya's a, a big fan of this. Really? Oh, I'm sorry then. Why are you sorry? Matt on guard, on guard was just arrested, pal. On suspicion of murder. What? Was that what I needed? That was what I needed. Well, why was Mr. On guard arrested? Sorry, pal, but that's not something I can tell you. We just started the investigation, so we don't want any leaks. Looks like yet yeah, another steel samurai right here was in hot water. Um, Mr. Nick, is, if Mystic Maya knew about this, yeah, I know. She'd make me take this case, I know. Right. Do I have to go and find her now?
Hey, so what's going on, Mr. Right? It looks like one Karada has been killed. What, what, what? One is he's... It looks like he was murdered and a suspect has been arrested. That suspect is Mr. Matt Ungard. You, you, you're joking, right? Nope, they arrested the Nickel Samurai in suspicion of murdering the Diamond Ninja. Oh, not again. I feel sick. Again? About a year ago, something like this happened, Charles. I still can't believe. No way. No way, Matt Wood. What's Mr. Powers got in his hand? Oh, before I forget, this. This is for you, Mr. Wright. I got this from the bellboy that came by earlier. For me? But why? I don't know. All he said was it was for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. It was almost right after you guys left. An old man who's a bellboy at the hotel showed up. And that's when he told me to give you this to you. Why? Why me? Why give me this transceiver? Matt is the most energetic and active actor out there right now. The Nickel Samurai really sealed his place as a pop idol, but he kept, kept adding fuel to the fire of his rivalry with one anyway. Mr. One, he's the jamming in here, right? Those two would butt heads over everything they could think of. But I'd say that Matt was the one who almost came, almost always came out on top. I guess some people only know how to relate to others by butting heads like a ram. One said that he'd take Matt on this time too, so he joined a rival TV show. And that was the Jammin' Ninja. The stylish little samurai and the burning Jammin' Ninja. While things turned messy real fast with those two using their shows for their war. In the final tally, look around, it's pretty obvious how things ended up. Matt even won the Grand Prix this year. The final winner for his rival, I guess. Mr. Ungard was going to hold a press conference, wasn't he? That's what I heard. Though if you wanted to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's conference. The Nickel Samurai's? Yeah, he was supposed to wear his costume and give the press conference that way. He was going to be in costume, but why? I'm not sure. They don't keep me in the loop anymore. Um, I was just wondering, where's Mr. Maya? She's been gone a long time. Now that she mentions it, Maya was only going down for a phone call. Maybe she got lost. I'll take a quick look around for her. Ah. Well, what is it, Mr. Nick? Huh? I'm, I'm not sure. It's coming from this transceiver. Y yes, hello? Right here. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? And you are? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with, such as... Help, Nick! Oh, fuck. M Mr. Meyer. Meyer? So, Mr. Wright, wouldn't you agree that the more important issue is the fate of the girl? Her fate? Does he mean what I think he means? Meyer, where are you? Are you hurt? Come now. Don't fall apart of me yet. That this, no, this can't be. Now that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney, I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will return to you your valuable item of harm. What is this called again in your fancy lawyer terms? Kidnapping for ransom. Yes, that's it. This is a kidnapping. Ah! Mr. Meyer! Mr. Meyer! But my sight, everything's fading away. Maya, Maya, why have been kidnapped? Are you there? Mr. Attorney, are you there? Uh, how much? How much do you want? Very good, Mr. Attorney. I'm glad you have such a good grasp of the situation. Hurry up and state your condition and then return Maya. Money is not what I see. What? What I want is a certain burden. I would like a complete acquittal. Complete acquittal? Well, what in the world have you done to me? I am not the person who will be representing. What? You're currently at the Gatewater Hotel, are you not? And I know that murder's taken, just taken place there. One Corrida was killed, and the suspect is Ma Matt Ongar. You are, as expected, quite on top of this, Mr. Attorney. Now then, why one is very simple. I want you to obtain a complete acquittal for Matt Ongar. For Matt Ongar, but why? He did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. However, uh, however, however, what? However, someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take a fall. If I agree and do what you want, can I believe that he presented the bargain? You are, of course, at liberty to take me at my word or not. However, there is one thing you can take us back. Right now, the very precious item is with me in my possession. Mmm, help, Nick! Maya, you have two days. Of course, tonight you will be in questioning with the police. The trial is in two days. At that trial, you will win not guilty verdict. 
remember, you only have one chance. One chance to kill time. Or one? You, you expect me to get a not kill me in one trial day? Yes, exactly. I don't believe it. I was wrong in choosing you. Don't let me down. Ah, uh, oh, yes. That's right. Now that I am playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't pass up this chance to say. I don't even think about calling the cops. Hmm, not great, but you get the idea. Damn it. Who? Who the hell are you? Very well. I'll tell you that much. My name is... D killer D killer But Mr. Nick, well where is Mystic Maya? She's been kidnapped. Look no, no, it's all my fault. What a name? If only it had gone with Mystic Maya. It's not your fault, Carl. But it is, it is. Mystic Maya. Mr. Wright, I think we- we- I think we should tell the police what's going on. No, we can't do that. If we do, who knows what will happen to mine? She's the will of the bee again? Exactly. Have you heard of the will of the bee, though? Leo. Mr. Nick, what about the detective from Kuala? Detective Gumshoe. Yes, that's it. Wait here, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'll take care of Carl while you're away. What? Ransom? Not so well. Ransom is complete acquittal for Matt Ongard. Wait, the deal is complete acquittal in exchange for my union. Then this means Matt Ongard is obviously the killer pal, no doubt about it. But the guy said that Mr. Ongard is innocent. You really believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? I guess he has a point. If Ongard really is innocent, then why the kidnapping? And on top of everything else, there's all this evidence, this evidence we keep finding. Hitman is more accurate? Fair, fair. Nope, I will tell you about the will of the P in a bit, Lael. Because I'm actually going to end stream in a minute because I'm struggling to read now. So I'm and I've done four hours, so I'm going to stop in a second. And then I will DM you about the will of the P. And on top of everything else, there's all this evidence we keep finding. Huh? The forensic team having a field day back there. Um, but it's strange. There's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. There's too much evidence. Is that possible? Actually, didn't the kidnapper say something about Ongo being set up? Anyway, it looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. Just sit tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow you can start yours. Uh, alright. Isn't it another way? You've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. You're right. Date unknown, time unknown, location unknown. Nah, ow, my head. Oh, they put her in a wine cellar? My dude, she's literally in the wine cellar. Number one, if they search this place, they'd probably be able to find her. Number two, she's got wine. She's gonna be fine. But where? Where am I? I wonder if I'm still in that hotel. Well, what happened to me? Nick, Pearly. Come on, you guys. This isn't funny anymore. I see you have awoken. Ah! Well, who, who are you? Me? I'm known as the killer. The, the killer? You mean like an assassin? I, I'm too young to die. Don't worry. You are not my target for now anyway. Ah! Nick! Nick! Where are you? Help me! Yes, that's right. Only one person can save you now, and that is Mr. Phoenix Wright. Huh? What? What? Nick? Nick's gonna save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. Uh, a business transaction? I'm gonna contact him now. I hope you cooperate and play your assigned role well. Nick, what's going to happen to me? Nick, Carly, sis. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with. March 21st, 8.11am, Wright & Co. War Offices. Good morning. Uh, morning, Pearl. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, come on, let's hurry and go see Mr. On Guard. We have to wait a bit, Pearls. Visiting hours don't start until 9am, so... Oh, I see. Ah, Mr. Meyer, if only, if only I had gone with you. Poor Pearl, she's been like this since last night. We managed to get home somehow yesterday evening, thanks to Detective Gumshoe gently holding her by the hand and leading her here. But by the looks of it, I don't think Pearl's got any sleep at all last night. Mr. Nick, Mr. Meyer, she's alright, right? Yeah, she's alright. Either way, I'm gonna save her. You can trust me on that. Please, please help her. 
I'm only able to stay this common collected because Pearls is doing the crime for the both of us. Right. This is where I'm going to save. And we'll carry this on next week. Because I'm struggling to read. <laughs> and you know it's time to end this kind of thing when you can't read anymore, you know? Right. Who Who is online that we can... That we can raid? Who have I got? Oh, I've got a lot of people. Boo, boo, boo. But yeah. Yeah, good time to break. Yeah, pretty much. But when you when you can't read anymore, finding a good place to break is the best option to do. Um, let's see, who have I got? Well, nine was lurking, so we can raid nine. They're doing some Lego. Are they still streaming still? It doesn't look like they're ending anytime soon. Nine. Arachna. Because I always say Arcana, and it's not Arcana, it's Arachna. But yeah, thank you for being here. Um, I will be back on Saturday. Possibly with Shenmue on Saturday? Wait, what day is it Saturday? No, Saturday is the... I'm an idiot. Saturday will be Terraria. Slash whatever we can do, depending on who's around. Sunday, I don't know what I'll be doing. It'll depend on, you know, again, who's around. Because Sunday is usually our um, Left for Dead day. But I don't think... I don't think Asuna is here this weekend at all. I think he's away with his um, friend. So we might not be doing that, but we'll figure something out. Um, and it also depends on how much sleep Fictional gets as well. Because she's got a party to go to after stream on Saturday. But yeah, we'll see. I'll definitely be streaming over the weekend. We'll just see what it is. There might be some Jackbox. There might be some party games. I might do some Dropsy on Sunday if there's no one around, you know? Uh, Tony, if you want to be part of the stream on Saturday, just let me know. And we will... Will be after 12 for me working morning if you want to be part of the new year's eve stream just let me know and we'll make up a link for everyone who's streaming on that day um but yeah i hope everyone has a good day love you all bye, -bye.